As you may have guessed, based on the fact that I am holding a measuring tape, we are going to be doing a length comparison with the new 6870 against a couple of the last generation high-end cards with which it will either compete or uh, replace on the market. So let's have a look. Let's start with the 6870. So we're measuring right from the back of the PCI bracket. And because cameraman's measuring tape is uh, inconveniently in inches, we're going to have to go ahead and give the results in inches. So if you want to come have a look over here, right here from the top cameraman, this is a nine and just a little bit over three quarters of an inch. So it's like nine and uh, seven eighths of an inch long. And remember, it makes a difference whether the PCI Express power connectors are on the back of the card or the top. Because if you've got a card that's uh, 9 and 7 eighths of an inch long, but it has a PCI Express connector hanging out the back of it, that means you've got to account for that plug. So this one is going to fit as long as you have 9 and 7 eighths inches in your case. So next up, we have NVIDIA's Ruler of the Roost. And this one is 10 and a half inches. So the new 6870, which I don't actually know the performance of yet, will uh, compare at least in length quite favorably to the GTX 480. 480 GTX, that is. And then AMD's 5870 is 11 inches long. So the 6870 is a little bit shorter than its previous generation similarly named cousin. So thank you for checking out my length comparison with the 6870 against the GTX 480 as well as the HD 5870.